Okay, I already um, filmed this ball getting wound off of my umbrella swift, but um, it was really noisy, so I'm gonna try to do another one. This is a brand new ball winder I just got. Um, because my old one just wound a four ounce ball and this one winds a little bit different. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, this one winds a 10 inch ball. So, um, this is some beautiful roving I was gifted at Christmas time. And it's not spun very well because it was a mixture of, uh, oh my goodness, what's the name of this fiber? Uh, Polworth, Paul and I think it was silk or bamboo or something blended with it, and it was really hard to spin. So my spin's not very consistent. I have some thins and thicks. But um, I want to do something with this yarn because it's so, so the colors are so beautiful. They go from, they started off being yellow and then they went to red and turquoise and fuchsia and then they, I mean, they went to purple and then they ended up in almost black. So I split that braid in half and I spun two different um, balls. Or two, I, I spun two different um, skeins, you know, set the twist and everything, and then let it sit for a while and uh, set the twist. And now I am putting it into these cakes right here. And uh, hopefully, I'm going to try to make a shawl or as big as I can. Maybe it won't be a shawl. Maybe it'll have to be a just a collar of, com of some kind. Uh oh, we got a little tangle here. Um, here. So you can see the colors forming in this ball. It started off yellow and now we're getting into the pinks. It's gorgeous. We dyed it. It is kind of a noisy winder. Maybe because of, ah, because of that metal thing on the table. My other winder was a lot smaller and it was quieter. This is only probably my fourth or fifth time using my umbrella swift, but it's a handy little tool to have because you can set that umbrella as high as you want to get uh, to handle whatever diameter of the skein you have. And these skeins were put on my nitty knotty at about I don't know maybe I think that they, they were one yard. Uh, yeah, I think they were one yard around or length, and then. Uh, so I have about 370 yards of this yarn. So I'm not sure what I can make with it, but I definitely want to use it for something cool. It's so pretty. So, yeah, there it is. It's all done. And it's got a little end that's caught because I left that tie on there. But you can see how this comes off as a center pull ball starting with the yellow so it'll come out the middle so there we go beautiful oops let's see back here 